everybody, this is an excerpt from last night's show. I really hope you enjoy this new format. If you do, make sure and hit that like button, comment down below what you think during the show, and make sure and subscribe. Also consider becoming a member or grabbing some of that Irish Demon merch. Enjoy. <laughs> Everybody, good morning. So, um, right, so give you a little bit of background here, real quick, about what's actually going on here. So, Chili decided that because he, for whatever reason, isn't able to get himself pulled over, he pulls himself over, right? And he has a full blown argument with himself, with himself on the side of the road. For what reason? I don't really truly understand. So, as you can see, it's been lightly edited. As as a distraction technique. Let me anyway, over. let's do I this. I got a copper right behind me. So I want to walk through this step by step by step. I've got my my, my I got my my camera mounted here. It's mounted right here on my steering wheel, so you guys can see the interaction with the copper. So I want to show you guys a couple of things and show you exactly how you deal with the copper because the first thing the copper is gonna do, he's gonna come up and want your license your registration and proof of insurance he's gonna want those three things right away and so what i want you to do what i want you to do i want you to have everything ready to go for the filthy copper for the copper charlie the copper that's coming up there's there's a copper coming up charlie it's coming up behind me what am i gonna do what am i gonna do well the first thing i'm gonna do when the copper is behind me the very first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna start recording with my phone very first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna turn my camera on and I'm gonna start recording with my phone. You see, see my phone's recording me. My phone, my phone is recording me and Charlie. So it's recording me and Charlie. I got my phone right here and the window can be seen. Charlie, can you go over there? Can you go over there, buddy? Go on, go on, go over there. There you go, that's a good one. So the first thing I do, that when I see the copper, when I see a copper, as soon as I see that copper, as soon as my eyes go copper, and the first thing I see is a copper, what's the first thing I do? What is, man? This is going to get lit. I can just tell right now. I haven't watched the whole thing. This is going to be lit. I pull my phone out and I start recording. I keep, tell I keep telling this to people. I keep, I keep saying it. I keep saying it. The first thing you do, pull your phone out. You, you can't have your insurance and your registration and you can't have all your stuff. It's got to be here. It's got to be right here. You understand that? It's got to be right here. Your phone's got to be right here. Boom. Right there. Right there. You see that? Okay. So I got my phone out and I'm recording. First thing. So what's the first thing you do when you see a copper? You start recording and your hands, look at my hands. Look at my hands. Look at where my hands are. So this hand is at, his elbow's resting on, you can't see it, but there's a little knob right here for the, for the, for the seat. You, oh, you can see it ever so slightly. I put my- There's a little knob here, all right, bud. And it's you. My, my elbow right on that knob. You see that? And now I got my phone and I'm recording inward right here. I'm recording myself. <laughs> Can you guys imagine just how much fun I am going to have with this video tomorrow? I'm telling you right now, stay, <laughs> stay tuned because you can imagine I am going to have a fucking ball with this video. Thank you, Chili, for being... Oh, you just... Elbows amazing. resting on, you can't see it, but there's a little knob right here for the for the, for the seat. You, oh, you can see it ever so slightly. I put my, my elbow right on that knob. You see that? <laughs> and now I got my phone and I'm recording inward right here. I'm recording myself. I got myself on camera. And then, of course, when the camera shoots across my face and goes out the window, it's hitting the copper. Now, what am I not doing? I am not pointing the, the, the phone at the ground. Oh, God. I'm, it looks like you're pointing at that knob that you were talking about. <laughs> really, Chili? Do you not think? Oh, yeah, it's pretty stupid. Why are you not filming that copper's face? You film a copper's face. You film the cop's face. He pulled me over, okay? This guy who just pulled me over will drag me to a dungeon. He will drag me off to a rape cage. He will. In two seconds flat, he will drag me away. Why are you respecting this guy? He'll arrest you if there's a faulty warrant for you and you swear up and down and your wife swears up and down and your dog is barking. You got the wrong guy, that's not his name. He will drag you to a dungeon in torture cuffs. Cage where they will assault you upon entering the dungeon. Boom, right there, my phone goes up. 
Oh, I'm filming your face, you feel disrespected? You take people to a dungeon, Jack! Don't ask me to respect you! And then you say things like, I don't even think about how much the tickets cost, because that might deter me from doing my job. Cops are the worst. They're the worst. So, copper comes up. Boom! Phone goes up. And look, you can see both of my arms. This is the position. This is the position. This is the position I want you to be in for your safety. Because this hand up here only controls the visor. My, my finger's just one little scoop away. Just a scoopy, scoopy. My finger's just a scoop away from the visor right there. Scoopy, scoopy. And what's in the visor? What? Now, copper pulled me over. Got my phone up, and I'm recording now. I push record. Before he gets up here, I'm recording. Calm down, right there. bro. Here's my position. I look like a football. I look like a, a football touchdown. He's not your friend. He doesn't, he doesn't care about you. Not one bit. I put the window down this much. What's up, copper? License, registration, and proof of insurance. If you've been following the channel, I take my little finger right here. My, 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 look, 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 look. look how, I, I don't want to mess with the camera because it's in a good place. But I just reach up here and right in my visor, I got a rubber band around this. And at the very top of the rubber band visor, oh my goodness, my license, my registration, and my proof of insurance is all laminated on one little thing. So I'm not going, oh, where's my license? Where's my insurance? Where's my proof of registration? I need to find my stuff. Copper's knocking on my window. He's got a light in there. He's pointing it at me. Show me your hands. He didn't want to, don't reach for anything, he's saying. He's scared. Copper's scared. He's scared. Don't reach. Don't reach. I don't want to. What the That's fuck? That's the way it is. That's the reality of our country. It's, it's a real funny joke that people can laugh, but it's true. Don't reach! Don't reach! Don't reach! What the I ain't fuck? reaching. I ain't reaching, copper. Boom! I'm, I look like I'm a touchdown and my beautiful dog's in the background. <laughs> this right here is all ready to go. Regardless. I'm in my touchdown position. I'm in my especially if you're black. Sorry. Sorry for my white folks who are like, oh, he's race baiting. Now listen, if you're black, this is your position. If you're black, you're brown, you're here. You're here now. Don't wait. Your position is a football. Football, end zone, touchdown. You see that? License, registration, proof of insurance, all on one thing. I've cracked my window two inches. I don't respect this man. He takes people to... He puts torture cuffs on people. This man is not my friend. So I'm filming him with this hand. I got my license, registration, proof of insurance in this hand. Obviously, I have to tape mine because I'm showing, you know, thousands of people my stuff. So... License, registration, proof of insurance. All on one card. Why don't you have this done? Do you Why know are you shouting? I watch a day where someone's like, oh, well, you know, let me call my wife, my insurance. And then they got to turn their phone off and put their arms down. So what's my position? I'm in touchdown position. Touchdown. There it is. Everybody knows what the touchdown symbol is. NFL super popular. Touchdown, just like this. Copper says license, registration, proof of insurance. There it is. Boom. And then, it, you know, it depends if you want to speak out loud or not. I, I, have a, I have a special place in my heart to let these filthy piggies know that I have no respect for them. You're welcome. The copper comes up, knocks on the window. My dog will bark. Charlie looks over. He sees a pig at the window. I love how he didn't bark. <laughs> Even your dog's like, nah, fuck this guy. <laughs> I reach up here with one little finger. I swipe this down and boom. Then I take it like this and I slip it ever so gently out that two inch crack. There's tape on it, he can take it off. <laughs> That's my cue. As soon as this copper says a damn word to me, a single solitary word, you kidnapper, you beta male. I have a lot more choice words. I'm trying to keep this rated PG. PG? As soon as I hand him this, where are you coming from? Where are you going? PG. P.E. more like a performance enhancing. What are you doing? Who'd you date when you were in 11th grade? Eat my shorts, copper. Because I've handed this to him. He has this. I'm no longer, I've given him everything I need to do. Everything I need to do. Right there. Everything I need to do. I've given him every, where I've been, where I'm coming from, what my favorite color is. Do I like spaghetti and meatballs? It is none of his business. And you're intruding on me. You're treading on me. I'm a free American. Whoa. I've given you everything I have to give you by law. I'm not answering any questions. And the way I present that is I reach up here. I grab my trifold right there. And the very first thing I do is when he says, where are you going? What are you doing? I look at this. I point my phone at it. I look at it on my phone. I look at the right there. And I say, there it is. I have the right to remain silent. A right to remain silent. 
this is a very good point here from Colin Definitely Not Cromwell says, just a reminder to everyone, he's talking to himself. So he's he has pulled himself over, right? He has pulled himself over and is now currently talking to himself. Now, nay, he's arguing with himself about giving himself his own license. Go back to your trifold, point your camera at it. You, you can do it politely if you like. You could say, I'm sorry, Mr. Kidnapper, but I'm not going to be giving you any information about myself. I plead the Fifth Amendment and I'm not going to speak to you the rest of the time. If you continue, I'll consider it harassment. Like you have the right to remain silent, Chili. But as has been said before, you don't have the ability to stay silent. Just stay silent. Just say I'm not answering any questions. I plead the Fifth Amendment. I'm not going to be speaking any further to this copper. I didn't ask to be in this position. I want to be left alone. Talking to himself. There is no police officer there. Just just to let you guys know. Well, you're not under arrest. Yeah, you don't need to plead the Fifth. This isn't a criminal investigation. Where are you coming from? Going to work? You live in this area? Now, at this point, by the third or fourth question, me being the mother I am, I would say, Hey, cop, I told you three times. I plead the fifth. Now back the fuck up. Leave me alone. Mind you your have no profanity. right to question me. Do your job. Give me a ticket or don't. But off, piggy. That would be my response. I don't recommend. I don't recommend that you do that response. I recommend you just go like this. Where are you going? Where are you heading? What are you doing? What time are you coming home? Did you sleep with your wife last night? Are you, are, do you got, are you dating anybody? Do you like steak? Do you like eggs? Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam. I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. And instead of answering any of those things, I simply what say, "What the fuck is going on here?" Copper, man? I plead the Fifth Amendment. Copper keeps questioning me, and I say, "I'm not going to answer any questions. Please leave me alone. Any further questioning is outright harassment." This guy's talking to himself here. What's the betting? I will put money on it. Put one in the side chat if you agree with me that this guy, without a shadow of fucking doubt, plays these all out in his head like every single day. Every single day. I guarantee he's driving down the road. He's like, and then I said, and then the copper said, rah, 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 rah. and then I said, fuck you, copper. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. He lies there in bed chatting to himself it's like yeah chili you tell us so chili says to chili and then i told chili that it's like what the fuck this is an insight into this man's brain i bet you he looks like that in his own brain as well no doubt about it challenge. That's sad. I mean, I'm this tutorial is to teach you how to get yourself in more trouble than you already are in that, that that's what this is just be like yep there it is grand job see ya bye like you don't have to answer a million and one questions and there's nothing wrong with with exercising your fifth amendment right and saying, look, I don't want to talk about my day. I've done it. I've done it. No doubt. Box of Cracker Jacks. Checks when me. you're done eating the Cracker Jacks, and they're so good, I can't eat them anymore because my teeth are all messed up. But if you like Cracker Jacks, put a one in the chat. And let me tell you something. At the bottom of the box of Cracker Jacks, on all boxes of Cracker Jacks, there's a little toy. Or a tattoo. Or there's a little thing in the bottom of the box of Cracker Jacks. And it is a piece of trash. In the box of Cracker Jacks, it's like, why'd you put this in this box of deliciousness? You gave me this little trash at the bottom that it's a top. You can spin it, but it's a it's a, it's a, it's a poopy top. You spin it, and it's this little plastic thing, and it kind of fumbles across the floor. That's what cops are. A waste. A total waste. It's a waste. We have technology now where we can change the whole system, but we're still using the cowboy method. Put a badge on my chest and give me a good. I'm here to make sure everything's okay. Pew, pew, pew. Filthy pigs. <laughs> that was the weirdest shit ever. <laughs> oh my God. I'm terrified about what my mother might have said in the side chat here because Christina Prob says, Irish mammy, Lamau. Where are you coming from? Oh, she's told me to shut up. You late for work or something? <laughs> that doesn't sound like my mother. <laughs> Why are you speeding? Why are you going so fast? <laughs> Why is he pausing? And I will hold this position for an hour. Why do I gotta look on my face like I'm constipated? Because this guy's harassing me. Because you're no taking too many steroids and you actually are constipated. That's why. <laughs> reason to pull me over. There's no emergency. You're pulling me over to steal my money, copper. 
You're the actual evil in this country. You're the danger. You're the fear. You are the terrorist in America. I don't want to talk to you. F off. I'm sober. I can say whatever the fuck I want. You mad, bro? I'm sober. Fuck off, cop. Write your damn ticket. Go steal my money. I don't know about where you come from in the world, but where I come from in the world, if I said that to a cop, I'd need a good surgeon to get my boot out of out get his boot out of my ass. I'm just telling you that right now. You would get skull dragged out of the car, and y yeah, it wouldn't be fun. But don't waste my time anymore. Here's the Fifth Amendment. I got the right to remain silent. I'm yelling at you because I don't like you. What you can't see is just off camera in the car next to him is this old lady who's like fucking petrified. She's in the next car over. She's like, I swear to God, honey, I'm not a cop. <laughs> Get the fuck away from my car. Get away from my car. That's how you deal with a cop. This guy, what the, guys, he's talking to him, his damn self. Like, there is nobody else there except for that poor little old lady sitting in the car next to him, freaking out. He's not your friend. Stop acting like he pulled you over. Like, oh, hey, hey, officer, I, I was just taking a turn and, 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 and bleh. it's not gonna work. He's a tyrant. His job is to steal your money and to steal you. And Lads, are we witnessing something? Like, is this, uh, I don't know. I feel like this is going to end up on the news at some stage. I just hope they do it with this this uh, filter on. If he can steal you, he can steal your car. If he can steal your car, that's going to be a big impound fee for him. What? I don't think he gets the impound fee, right? And so because I told the filthy copper exactly how I felt about him, he says to me, watch your mouth. Watch my mouth. I don't have to watch my mouth. I don't have to. Cohen versus California says, I can tell you to go f your mother, brother. Get the f out of here. Take What's your dog. Mother, go to the beach. Go have a ham sandwich. Go fly a kite copper. I don't have to watch my mouth. You pulled me over for nothing, for something stupid, for something trivial. Let me tell you to go f yourself, and I'm remaining silent. Get the f away from my car. I can't stand them. I don't know how anybody, like, in 2022, I tried to bridge a gap. And talk about Let's the torture cuffs and talk about Absolutely. things with these coppers that mattered. And all of them, there wasn't one who didn't say, oh, I can't get that done. It can't be me. There wasn't even one. Even the cop that let me put him in handcuffs in uh, McAllister, Oklahoma, that was a cool cop. But is he cool when he's putting torture cuffs on your cousin? Is he cool when he's got his chest, in, when he's got his knee in your dad's chest? How cool is he then? Is he cool? Is he cool? Is he a cool cop that lets me put him in handcuffs? Or is he another tyrant who wants to kidnap you, steal your car, impound it so they can steal your money and start the cycle of you owing the government, suspending your license, then you gotta drive to work so the guy recognizes you because he's the one that put the torture cuffs on you. So then he pulls you over because he knows you don't have a license and then what happens? Then he steals your car again, but now you gotta, can't get it out of impound and now you're stuck with this choice. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta go back here. I'm seeing a lot of people say, touchdown. Okay, let's go. First. Touchdown position. Touchdown. Camera's here. It's up in the air. <laughs> Copper can see my hand through the back window. Other hand is here in the window. Copper can see my hand. This is so there good. it is. Touchdown position. Touchdown. I got my license registration proof insurance on my card. I got my, my trifold right here. That's how it works. That's how it works. I'm going to survive this and I'm going to reserve all my rights by not speaking. Now, you know, I don't. I, I, he says <laughs> the, the amount of speaking that he's done while not speaking is absolutely unbelievable. But at least we got a touchdown. I, I hope that you're not. Um, I hope you're exactly like me. <laughs> I hope you do it exactly like I do and you break this chumpzilla down to zero. However, if you're not super articulate as I am, then what I want <laughs> you to do is I want. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, sorry. I just, I couldn't. If you're not like super articulate like I am, he's super duper articulated. Jesus Murphy. I'm going to reserve all my rights by not speaking. Now, you know, I don't, I, I, I hope that you're not, um, I hope you're exactly like me. <laughs> I hope you do it exactly like I do and you break this chumpzilla down to zero. However, if you're not super articulate as I am, then what I want you to do is I want you to survive this traffic stop. That's what I want. I want you to survive this traffic stop. I want you to get through it. 
pulled over too. You'll back the blue until it happens no to you. Time. I still want you to have your stuff set up. I don't want you to have to go through the panic of having to get your license, insurance, and proof of registration put together. I don't want you to have to go through that. Because whether you like it or not, when those emergency light comes on, as you're sucking that cop stick, fear will fill your body. I want you to have your license, your registration, and proof of insurance all set up on a laminated card. If you choose to put your actual document, your actual license in there, that's up to you. I don't want the copper having my license, so I put a laser copy of it. It's crystal clear. You can even scan the back. I want you to get yourself set up. That's what I'd like you to do. And this goes right here with a rubber band around it. So that when that filthy copper pulls me over, touchdown position. Oh shit, I was muted. Well, there you go. You happy now? For, for those of you fuckers that like to mock me for accidentally muting myself, meltdown. Anyway, I was wondering why I couldn't hear myself. I was like, you sound very distant. And that's because my headphones are on and I wasn't coming through them. The uh, white, light skinned guy. Me, I'm Colombian, but I look white as white could be. I speak white. I speak legalese white. No, you fucking don't. Position. This is your you speak bollocks legalese fake legalese you dumb sh sorry though for being so frank about it but he's a dumb sh right i speak legalese white no you fuck no negatory copper i ain't playing your games oh charlie what's going on What's going on, Charlie? Charlie's not playing the copper games anymore. Where they at? Where's, where's the copper, Charlie? Where's the copper? Where's the filthy copper, Charlie? Where's the copper, Charlie? Where's the copper? Where's he at, Charlie? Where's the copper? Ah, ah! Where's the copper, Charlie? Where is he? Where is he? Ah! <laughs> okay, what the flying fiddler's f was that? Like, what was that, man? Why would you bring your dog into it like that? Oh, Charlie, what's going on? What's going on, Charlie? Charlie's not playing the copper games anymore. Where they at? Where's, where's the copper, Charlie? Where's the copper? Where's the filthy copper, Charlie? Where's the copper, Charlie? Where's the copper? Where's he at, Charlie? You got a war face? Ah! That's a war face! Now let me see your war face! <coughs> you don't scare me! Work on it! <coughs> Tony's absolutely right. Like, if any of you have ever seen how I act with my dogs, right? Like, I... I adore my dogs. I love them to death. Like, I don't baby them and I don't let them get away with a whole lot. Like, if they're being naughty, I'll tell them they're being naughty and I won't give them any attention or what. You know what I mean? It's this, this is basic uh, care of dogs, right? Like, this kind of stuff. Yeah, playing with your dog. I play wrestle with my boy dog, Floki, a little bit. The, the little one, Minnie, she's not really into it. She's very kind of uh, delicate and chill. So she just does her own thing. But my my boy dog, he likes to wrestle and play around a bit, but he knows when to stop and all the rest of it. But that was, it's so weird, man. That poor dog has to put up with so much shit. Like his, his human standing there fucking screaming like a moron on the side of the road and jumping in and out of the car like that dog lives in a car it's really really fucked up but um anyway there you go moving swiftly onwards yes you have no idea you have no idea my dog um yesterday i left my dog with a buddy when i went to go run some errands my dog sat on the couch the whole day waiting for me to get back what's a good boy what's a good boy charlie come on come on come on all right all righty then all righty then good boy Good boy. All righty then. All right, so we got everything? Listen, uh, there was a guy in here. L listen, I, I give away the digital ones for free all the time. I want your $5. I need your $5. I'm on a bigger mission. So if you can afford the $5 We're tripod, the one that we print God. out in black and white or white and black, whichever color you want to do, we send out both of them. I, I appreciate if you bought one of these for $5 for the digital one. The indestructible ones are $25. Please buy a trifold and have it in your car. So this was a trifold infomercial is what you're telling us. Now, I want you to pay the five bucks because I need it. I'm not rich. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, and, and by the way, do me a favor, guys. How, how do I, I'm not going to say it. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed that excerpt. If you did, make sure and smash that like button and we'll catch you in the next one. Slauncha.